In this short video I'm going to explain to you how to check your water heater for rust and possible future leaks. Now a lot of people have water heaters in the attic or in a room off a hallway in the house. Uh, some people have them in the garage. Even so, even in the garage they can actually leak and get back into the house. And a leaking water heater can be a really expensive problem. To actually carry out your check you're going to need a, uh, a good flashlight uh, and nothing more. Uh, and to know exactly where your water heater is. It only takes a few minutes and the uh, video that I'm going to show you is a real check of a water heater and you'll see the results of that check in the short video. This is the water heater inspection and we're looking at the general condition of the water heaters. Water heaters in this part of the world do not last very long. The reason being is that the water here is very acidic. As a consequence it attacks the actual water tank itself and if you look here at this union you can see there's a very slow leak coming out of it there's a little bit of water coming out left unattended that's going to leak a great deal also because of that leak it indicates there's probably um, but not guaranteed there's probably rusting internal to the water heater and it may not last many more years. This union here also has a considerable amount of uh, corrosion on it. Now when we come to this water heater on the left to it, you can see here the valves, there's no leaking and the valves are in good condition. There's an explanation to this which I'm not going to give now but it is to do with one water heater, the first one, effectively protecting the second one from damage. But once this water heater is exchanged or swapped out, this one would need to be done at the same time um, because damage will occur here. This is a temperature pressure relief valve. We're going to try it. And it opens up perfectly. This is a temperature pressure relief valve. I'm going to open it up. And now we're going to go and see where they are. I have two samples of water from the hot water heaters. This sample is from the heater on the right hand side with the leaking pipe. This is the sample from the water heater on the left hand side which isn't, hasn't deteriorated. You note here how brown it is. That indicates a lot of rust present in the water. I recommend that you don't, definitely do not drink any of the water, hot water at all. Don't use it to drink. You can wash with it, clean with it, but don't uh, use it. Now, the colour of the water should be coming out of cold water. Here's a sample of the cold water. This is the colour of the water before it goes into the tank. So I can confirm that the tank, as you look at it on the right hand side, is definitely going to fail very shortly and should be replaced. Now all water heaters are different and just in summary what we're going to be looking at is what water heaters in general are like and you can see here this is the, 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 the input to the water heater and you should be looking around this joint to make sure there's no corrosion. There's another uh, output here, it's where the hot water comes out, on this particular heater it's indicated by the red um, circle here, plastic circle. And they'll also have isolation valves and this one's got an isolation valve on both the inputs to the water heater and the output to the water heater. And then down at the bottom of the water heater is going to be a drain line and you can see the drain line there and that's where you can get a sample of the colour of the water out. Of course the colour should be clear, it should be crystal clear, there shouldn't be any rust in it at all. So in summary Look at your water heater. Look at where the pipes go in and out of the water heater. There shouldn't be any corrosion around there. And look up the line from the pipes. You know, there will be an isolation valve. There's always isolation valves. Check that there's no corrosion there. You'll see it. it's a white, furry, powdery um, a deposit. You can't miss it. It is corrosion. You'll see it. Look around the pipes where they enter the water heater and make sure they're not corroded. 
and then you could take a sample from the drain line which is at the bottom of the water heater just take a small sample out you know half a cup that will work all you're checking for is to make sure it's not uh, a sort of a reddish brown color of rusty water uh, you're hoping it comes out crystal clear if it's crystal clear it's a good chance your water heater is in good condition but if that shows to be it shows up to be sort of browny ready brown then you've probably got a water heater that's going to go out sometime in the near future and remember uh, a leaking water heater can lead to a very very large expense uh, especially on wooden floors and sheetrock and carpets it, it will ruin a lot of a lot of stuff in a very short time and also don't forget Murphy's Law which states basically if it can go wrong it will go wrong at a time most inconvenient to you normally when you're disappearing for a few days so it got a lot of time to soak in and do a lot of damage so check that water heater